Okay, hey guys, welcome to uh, another episode of Star Pupils Tuition. Today's video and today's lesson is going to be about fractional indices and basically altogether indices, everything to do with indices that you will need to know for GCSE Maths. So let's let's get started straight away. I'm going to go ahead and write down some of the rules that you're going to need to know. And these rules just need to be learned. So whilst I'm doing them, you can also take them down. Or you can just pause the video at the end and then take them down then. So let's start with the first rule. We've got a to the power of n times by a to the power of m. This one is just literally going to turn into a, that's an a, n, it's just from there, plus m. So I hope you understood that basically a to the power of n times a to the power of m is a n plus m. It's a rule. You need to learn it. And I might as well just do a quick example here. So if you had 2 to the power of 2 times by 2 to the power of 4, we're going to get 2 plus 4. So we get 2 to the power of 6, which can be put into a calculator and worked out. Or we can just leave it in this form if the question allows us to. So let's move on to the opposite of this, which is division. So if we had a to the power of n divided by a to the power of m, we're going to get the opposite of this anyway. So a n take away m. That's also extremely simple and very easy to learn. So if we apply it here, we can get 2 to the power of 2 times 2 to, oh sorry, not times. So 2 to the power of 2 divided by 2 to the power of 4. 2 take away 4 is 2 to the minus 2. And this is actually very useful because it's going to come to another rule which I'm going to talk about which is actually a to the minus n. You can see this a to the minus n sort of resembles this one if you put the 2 as an a and the 2 as an n there. So this one we might as well go through it now. This is also a rule. a to the minus n, the minus to get rid of it we make it a reciprocal which means putting a 1 making it a fraction basically. Uh, so 1, this minus just becomes 1 over a to the n like that need to learn this also. So if we put that into practice for this one here, so we might as well write this down, 2 to the minus 2, that's going to be 1 over, to get rid of the minus, 2 to the power of 2, which is then simplified to 1 to the power of 4, 1 divided by 4, which is a quarter. Uh, if we move on to another one, uh, this one is quite important, a to the power of 0 equals 1. In fact, it's very important because they could throw a question in the exam such as 74 to the power of 0, and you might be confusing, I've never learned this, but anything to the power of 0 equals 1. So let's move on to the next one. Let's see if we had a to the power of n times by m, so as in if something was in a bracket and it went to the power of something else, these questions can be tricky, but once you identify that it's this rule, you just know that that's going to be a n times m, that's times so just write that again, it's a bit confusing. a to the power of n multiplied by m. So if we did a rule here, let's just do a 2 again, using lots of 2's. Two, 2 squared to the power of 4, that's just going to be 2 times 4, so 2 to the power of 8. That's the answer. It's another rule. Uh, I think this is the last one. Um, yeah, so when we have something like this, a to the power of 1 divided by n, which is it's like a fraction indice. So this one's just going to become the nth root of a. Simple as that. Let's put it into perspective. If we have, <coughs> uh, so if you have 8 to the power of a third, you're thinking, what am I going to do there? Remember, the, the don denominator is basically the n. So we're going to nth root it, which is a 3 cube root of 8. The 1, we're just not, don't worry about the 1 it gets taken away. So cube root of 8 is just 2 and that's the answer to that. So those are every single rule that you need to know uh, for indices. So um, I'm just going to pause the video here and then get a couple of more questions up. Okay I'm back so now you can see we have a couple of questions up here. Uh, I want you guys to at least have an attempt and try to do these. If not I'm going to start them now. So 4 to the power of a half if we remember from our rules, which is such a such as a to the power of one over n, that's going to be the nth root of our a. Our a here is four, so that's two. That's going to be square root of four. Square root is just that sign. Literally, you don't have to put the two there, but four. 
understanding, we're just going to do that. So I might as well write that there. This is similar to that. And we know the square root of 4 is 2. If you do this, it's a very similar question, but just looks a bit harder. That's going to be the cube root. So cube root of 1,000. So we have that. And the cube root, if you put it into a calculator, or you can work it out. Uh, three. Uh, the cube root is going to be 10. I believe so that's that because 10 times 10 is 100 and 100 times 10 is 1000 but anyway that that was the main part of getting the cube root there uh, 4 to the minus half is very interesting because we did 4 to the half there which is 2 but let's go through this so 4 to the minus of a half we know we need to get rid of the minus so we reciprocate it so we have 4 uh, sorry 1 to the 4 to the power of a half so we used one of the rules there so we did 4 to the half over here anyway so we can just sub that straight in 1 over 2 because we got 2 for that and we just got rid of the minus with the 1 on it so we get half this one is very easy so 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 7 is just going to be 2 to the power of 10 3 to the power 4 divided by 3 to the power 2 is going to be 4 take away 2 so 3 to the power of 2 which we can write as 9 we can also write the others in uh, this one is uh, 18 to the power of 0 we know anything to the power of 0 is going to be 1 so that's basically the lesson done uh, there will be further videos on very hard exam style questions but hopefully this makes sense and hopefully this can help you to tackle some of the questions. Thanks for watching.